All right, got my kit in the mail today. This is the QRP Labs QMX mid band that just got released. You guys know I built a, uh, what is it, low band. Uh, so this is the mid band. And um, I'm really hoping it's a successful build this time. For those that know my my low band QMX, I, I built it. I, I think I did a decent job, but I did not get it fired up the first time. I actually sent it off to W1NC for repair. Uh, which he got back to me within a couple days, and I've been activating parks with it. So um, already doing a lot a lot of things better this time around, um, just with making sure that I'm getting good solder joints. Uh, I'm wrapping the toroids now. Um, there's a couple that go vertical here, and I'm noticing a huge improvement with um, this kind of wedge. Let me see if I can get that to focus. Even though this is quite a bit bigger, this is working great with uh, the solder joints. So I'll do some more updates along the way. All right, I want to do a quick update. Um, yeah, this this QMX mid band was delivered earlier today. I'm I'm really flying on it. Um, I, I'm definitely doing a better job with my uh, solder joints than I did my first build. Um, a little worried about this toroid. I didn't get it like perpendicular to the board. I don't know if that matters. Um, but yeah, I have all the toroids wound and now I'm onto the easy part of the build. Uh, yeah, it's going to get pretty easy from here. I may finish it tonight. We will see. So the big question is going to be, will it power on? when I finish the build. So we'll see. Stay tuned. All right, we have the main board fully assembled. The last part was just um, soldering the underneath of the power board. Uh, man, I gotta tell you guys, the, the build has been, the, the complete change for me has been, um, one, having built it before, but two, it's really been this wedge. Um, my soldering is flowing, the solder is flowing way better. I'm not having to spend as much time. I'm not really using any flux at all. It's just, it's this uh, solder wire with uh, flux within it, leaded uh, Kester 245. The groups.io, uh, QMX or QRP Labs group online really recommended this solder. So um, I do have, like this is a little bit crooked. There's a couple things that aren't as straight. So we'll see if the case goes on in the end. Those are adjustments I may need to make, but overall, I feel really good about how everything's come together. We'll see on these toroids, but uh, blowing through it. All right. Well, this is completely assembled. Um, ooh, I guess I forgot to cut those. So I got to go cut those. But uh, we're ready to go power this thing on. So that's going to be the great grand reveal if this works. Um you guys know, I, I've mentioned I built a QMX before, did not power on after completion. So i uh, going to go test this. If it powers on, I'm going to be kind of shocked just because, uh, I don't know, <laughs> maybe I shouldn't be shocked. Um, but yeah, I built this in one day. I got this delivered earlier today from Turkey by FedEx. So the grand reveal will be next. Let's see if this thing is operable. All right, step 10 of the final checks. When you do finally dare to apply power. Uh, so this is it, guys. I'm going to attempt to apply power to my QMX build. So reminder, last time I did this, it was uh, not powering on. So we're going to see if this works. So the first step is plugging in. I'm not supposed to see any power consumption there, so that's a good sign. Now I'm going to press this in and see if it powers up. Ooh, that was a good sign that my computer made a noise, but it did not power on. So I do not see the screen powering up, but I do see it on my computer now. Interesting. I've heard about this happening. So I might do some troubleshooting. Let me see if I can put the firmware on it. 
All right, guys. Well, um, as you heard when I did that initial test, the screen did not turn on. I don't know if that's normal, but my computer made a sound, which made me very excited because when I when I built this guy, there was nothing. Uh, I sent this off to W1NC, and he made some repairs, some cold solder joints. Uh, he re rewound a 20 meter uh, toroid for efficiency. I've actually got to move into the efficiency test on this baby. But anyway, I, I, I threw the firmware on there. I just powered this up and the first thing it asked me was uh, what band version it is. It is the mid band, so I selected 60 to 15. But holy cow, I am excited to see this thing power up. Uh, I'm gonna throw the dummy load on there and uh, do some quick testing on uh, power. So uh, man, let's uh, let's see how this thing performs but super excited to see it power up it appears to be uh, functioning properly so man that's a one day build of the qmx i am very excited to report that my qmx mid band build uh, was a, su a success i just concluded the test of uh, efficiency power on all the bands the only one I didn't test was 60 meters and 30 meters. I actually don't have an antenna uh, at my base station, but I'll do some tests in the field with that. But all the other bands, 40 meters, 20 meters, uh, 17 meters, is that correct? Am I thinking of that right? Yeah, 17 meters. Um, those all tested great. I was north of uh, 4 watts on all of those. Um, so yeah, very excited. Uh, very <laughs> Very happy that I built this in a day and that it works. Um, I just need to adjust this B and C that's a little bit off center. So I'm gonna have to wick that. And then once I get that centered, I will throw this in the case. All right, got the mid band QMX all assembled in the enclosure. I got some different color knobs, decided to go with white on this one. These are the uh, Tufton uh, knobs he has. I want different colors to distinguish which is which, obviously, because if they have the same knobs, you won't know which is the low, mid, or high band. Um, so he uh, he did tell me he's going to make different colors of these. I love these. They just push on. But for now, I'm just going to go with these guys. So yeah, guys, this is the uh, mid band, fully built, fully tested. Uh, obviously, I, I'm going to have to take it out into the field to do a true test. But based on the, the power... Uh, SWR, everything I'm getting, it looks good to go. So very exciting. And what a fun build. These QMX transceivers, they are very robust, very capable. Love this transceiver.